Welcome inside Sim Racing and our review of the Sparco Hypergrip Gaming Gloves. Let's see if I can keep a review on gloves under five minutes. I don't like my chances. Racing Simulator provided by Next Level Racing and their new 2-in-1 F1 GT cockpit. Whether you like the upright GT seating position or low slung F1 seating position, the F1 GT has you covered at a price that won't break the bank. Learn more at nextlevelracing.com. Our one and only pro of the Sparco Hypergrip Gaming Gloves, and don't worry, we don't have very many topics we're hitting on in this review, is the gloves functions. So the gloves have about five things I want to hit on that helps in terms of function. And first up is the fact that the gloves protect your rims from your hands. Now, if you're running a leather rim, this isn't really much of an issue, but if you're running an Alcantara or a suede rim, the oils on your skin can actually go and degrade those materials and make those rims turn into um, kind of a mess pretty quickly. So with those type of rims, it's a good idea to have gloves and obviously the hyper gloves take care of that. Next up to no surprise, let's look at the name. The gloves do provide extra grip when driving. They have kind of a nice suede material here on the bottom that is really grippy. And there's also some rubber dots here on the palm of the hand that also helps and makes it, you know, easier to grip your rim and makes it so your hands aren't sliding around. So they accomplish that. Also in the palm of the hand, they have these couple padded regions, which funny enough, Sparco explains that these pads are for when you're, you know, using a controller that you don't kind of, you know, wear out your hands over long gaming sessions, which I guess that's a thing. But from a sim racing perspective, at first I was a little bit, didn't fully grasp why they were there. And I thought they were, they were kind of large pads. And I was like, oh, am I going to like this? But as I started driving with them, the, the two between the two pads, the rim kind of nicely sits, and I actually got pretty comfortable with it, and I liked having a little more padding right underneath the rim there in the palms of my hands, so those turned out to be a pro. Also, another pro in the function category is that these gloves breathe really well. There's plenty of perforated holes on these gloves, on the top side, in between the fingers, you know, pretty much a lot of places, since this isn't a karting glove or racing glove that needs to have fire protection, or maybe it needs to just ha give you a little bit of protection in case you fall out of a cart and you, you know, scrape your hand across the ground. This is for sim racing and fire and falling out of your sim rig. Shouldn't be things you're worried about. If it is, you should probably contact a doctor or something. But anyway, for sim racing, you know, the biggest issue you really have with gloves is your hands getting clammy and sweating, and this was an issue with the Hypergrip gloves at all. Lastly, the Hypergrip gloves have a little party trick that kind of works and also I kind of wish worked better, and that is the finger tips. So both the index finger and the thumb have different materials than the other fingers that allow you to, in theory, use things like, you know, your smartphone and be able to go and click things and move it around. It works okay. Sometimes it works and you can get a press and it works pretty well. Other times not as well. Now from a more sim racing perspective, cause I mean, you shouldn't be messing around on your phone. If you have a keyboard that has a trackpad integrated in it, and that's exactly what I run because I lost the mouse a long time ago cause it's just kind of tough when you're sim racing. I really like the keyboards that have the integrated trackpad and an issue that I've had wearing my carding gloves is that it's really hard to use a trackpad while I'm wearing gloves. You kind of got to use the thumb and push really hard. So these gloves and keeping the fingers how they are, we'll get to that in a second, but you're able to go and navigate on that trackpad fairly well. And then if you need further help that, you know, maybe your phone or trackpad on, on your keyboard isn't working as well, you can go and you can pull off these finger tips on the index finger and on the thumb, and then you can go and you know definitely have no issues scrolling with your trackpad. So this is a pretty nice solution. Like I said, I kind of wish it worked a little better in some instances with the fingertips on because I don't really care for having to go and you know pop that off. But for the most part, and especially more when it comes to trackpads versus the you know, cell phone, uh, it does seem to work, so that is nice to have. Now let's get to the first of our two neutral topics for the Hypergrip gloves. And first up is the looks. So I have to say, this is first off a very subjective category, but in my opinion, I don't see these as sim racing gloves. 
I see these as bicycle gloves. That's what I think of when I first see these. And maybe this is due to the fact that I think Sparco Gaming's trying to kind of walk the fine line, be having racing gloves and also gaming gloves. Uh, when you see they're their, on the product page for this, they're promoting these, you know, as normal gaming gloves, you holding a controller, you know, taking off the tips. And obviously, if you're just doing general gaming, you probably don't want gloves that come down your wrists and, you know, more like traditional racing gloves. I mean, this makes more sense. But for us sim racers, you know, one of the reasons why I wear gloves, you know, not only is it to protect when I get uh, Alcantara and suede rims, and, it's all, and also another reason is that, you know, I kind of be a little bit of a death grip, so I like to have a little more padding, which these do have. But I also have them because they look cool. You know, I saw the people wearing them, and I thought they looked really cool, and, and I like to have that racing feel. I mean, obviously, we're sim racing because we can't go out there in actual race. So... These gloves, in my opinion, just don't really capture that look. I don't think they look bad in terms of the graphics going on with them, the red and black and white color scheme. I think they look, you know, nice, but they just don't really feel like these are racing gloves. And I kind of wish that Sparco would have gone and focused a little more towards the sim racing side, kind of leave the gaming side alone, or maybe split it up and have two different types of gloves. And on the sim racing side, they had gloves that looked pretty much like the Sparco karting gloves, but they just had a little more breathability and they had the whole fingertip deal so you could use your trackpad and those sorts of things. So, um, yeah, I'm, it's a little bit of a miss for me on the looks, but I do understand this is a very, very subjective category. Now on to our final neutral topic, and that is the price. The Hyper Grip gloves come in at 49 US dollars or 39 euros, which is kind of on the top end of what I would categorize as my neutral category for the price range. If they were any more expensive, I probably would have dropped them in the cons category because at this price point, they're really in there with other more racing gloves, you know, carding gloves. I, I was taking a look at it and you can get a lot of carding gloves in this kind of 40 to $60 price range. Maybe not necessarily 2017 model year, but plenty of 2015, 2016 that still look plenty nice and obviously get the job done. They don't really change from year to year. So, you know, these are kind of going right into that price point. So there's a lot of competition. So again, I don't think these things are overpriced, but you know, being, I don't want to see any higher than that $49 in the US or 39 euros over in Europe. So let's go ahead and wrap up this review of the Sparco Hyper Grip Gaming Gloves. And I have to say, in my opinion, I'm a little lukewarm on them. In terms of function, they do everything I want them to, them to do. They're gloves, they have this padding, they're breathable, you know, being able to go and use a trackpad with either the fingertips on or off is an improvement to what I currently have to do, which is using other brands, carding gloves, and really have to press my thumb to make it work. I mean, I make it work, but it, this is definitely a lot more comfortable. So in terms of function, I really do think that these gloves check the box. My hangup gets pretty much on the very subjective points and that's just kind of how they look and them give me a little more of a bicycle feel versus sim racing feel. And also, I mean, these things aren't like 20, 30 bucks. You know, they got to have a little bit of price into them, which I understand because, you know, there's development into this and probably only going to make, you know, sell so many of these and all that kind of stuff. So I get that. But uh, again, you know, that kind of sways a little against uh, what I'm looking for. Now, if you go out and you see these gloves and you think they look cool and you don't want a big racing glove because you think that's ridiculous, then um, these things will work perfectly fine. I say go out and get them. Again, I think in terms of function, they get the job done. This is purely comes down to the subjective side, whether or not you want, uh, how you want the glove to look, or also whether or not you want to wear gloves because there's plenty of you out there that just say, eh. I don't want to wear gloves. I think that's dumb. So I'm not going to sway you and these gloves won't either. But if you are interested in gloves and you like the look of these, these definitely do get the job done and give you a little bit of enhancement to your sim racing experience. So that will do it for a review of the Sparkle Hyper Grip gloves. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Check out our website, isrtv.com for the latest news, reviews, and our popular forums. Also check out the Amazon affiliate link in the description below. Click on the link, shop through Amazon. Doesn't cost you a thing, but gives back a little money towards us. I'm doing a lot of hand signals because I'm wearing the gloves. <laughs> so again, I'm John Sable. Thank you for watching Inside Sim Racing. Please take care of you and yours. I almost forgot the hand signals. Park an airplane.